Hey girl, it's Novi time. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dog related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of Zoe Electra and Diamante. And I'm so excited because this for now completes my Shadow High Series 2 collection. I am still missing Rex. I did not get him on Amazon and I will be getting him later on. So don't worry about that. Anyways, look at these two. So if you haven't seen, I already have reviews of the other three girls from this line on my channel if you're interested in seeing them. Um, so let's start off by just looking at the packaging a little bit. I'm used to the packaging by now, but god, the artwork's so beautiful. This packaging is a lot simpler than the original packaging. It's really just a rectangle, but I don't mind because we get so much artwork with it. So right now you're seeing one piece of artwork that they've mirrored over there, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's so, so pretty, and don't worry, I'll show you guys up close later on, but this is what Zoe looks like in her packaging. And then you can see that she is a fashion design focus. What a surprise! And then this really cute picture of these two together, which is why I'm reviewing them together, because they have been government assigned besties here, you know? And it says, fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does Shadow High. Watch out Rainbow High, we're coming for the runway. And that is going to be the theme this year, I think, is runway, just based on the leaks we've seen so far. And that's the UPC for Zoe. And then Daya, her artwork, her extra accessories. I did not know she had glasses. Why are people not posting pictures of her in her glasses? Wow, that's... Sorry, I like to not um, spoil the dolls for myself, so I try my best not to consume media related to them. But people have been posting pictures of Daya this whole time, and nobody's posted her with her glasses on that I've seen. Cool. Makes me surprised. And then we have that she is a fashion design focus. Back of the packaging is the same. And that's always like. And then this is her UPC if you want to scan for her in stores. And you can also see the batch code and everything there too. Anyway, let's get them out of the boxes. I'm so excited. Figured I had this down to an art by now because these are now my fourth and fifth dolls with this packaging style that I've unboxed, but no. I mean, it. the reason it's difficult is because I want to keep the back art. If you don't want to keep the back art, you can just cut and it's easier, but um, yeah, just peeled the tape, pulled the plastic little tabs out, and then cut the plastic dies. All right, I'm devastated to report that they're sunglasses. That should have been obvious because it's not in the art, but I got excited. I was hoping we got another glasses character. Anyway, I wanted to show you the artwork. So first we have Zoe's artwork. So this is the one that's on the front of the box, just a little bit more or less detailed because the one on the front of the box has the shines in the eyes. I don't know, but that's what that looks like. And then this one over here, so cute. And then up here, it looks like she's holding headphones, but she's actually just holding her little, um, are they Bantu knots or just simple buns? I'm not sure, but like, oh my God, she looks so cute there. So cute, so cute. And then we have, Daya's artwork. Check that one out. Super cute in this one. I really like the way they draw her hair. I wish her hair in reality was poofier like that, but I'm sure when I wash it out, it'll get a little poofier. We'll see though. Look at her skin. Is she supposed to have freckles or something? Or Oh no, that's sparkles because she has a little bodysuit. That's right. That's a really cool way of depicting that actually. All right, so now we get to take a look at the dolls. Of course, I'm excited about that. These dolls are amazing. So I'm going to be looking at Zoe first, and then we'll be looking at Daya, just because Zoe's the alien character, and I'm very excited about the alien character. But here's an overview of both of them. They're really, really cool dolls. I'm so hyped to have all five of the girls right here. So, so cool. So we're going to be starting with Zoe. And again, here is an overview. I really love that her green skin tone, it's hard to tell, but it's actually a blue tone, and you can really tell when I put the stand on screen, because they chose blue for the stand, which is telling, um, and she actually matches quite well with it, so it's a really blue tone mint, which I really like. Um, really, really beautiful. And we're going to start off with her face. So, I got two Zoes. I ordered, I, I promised myself that I wouldn't order two of each one immediately, but I did order two Zoes and two glitches, because they were my favorites. And both of my Zoes have slightly messy facial screenings they're not i mean if you're being picky so here's my other one it's the lips mainly and then this one the only issue is that there's like when i say messy i mean messy like there's something on her face um it's weird right like i think it's overspray from something you see that i think it's from the eyebrows but i'll clean her up it's no problem but that's something to keep in mind i just recommend waiting to buy these in stores if you're worried about stuff like that for me it actually doesn't bother me at all so 
there's that. Also, I think mine, um, the little circles might be slightly uneven. That's something to look into. It's not bothering me, though. What are her earrings? Look at those. This is Shadow High. What are they? Ooh. <laughs> my, ooh. Oh, my gosh. They remind me of, like, music notes. I have no idea what these are. Pretty cool, though. And her edges are painted with a metallic paint, which is actually pretty cool because she has shiny nylon and tinsel in her hair. I'm not a big fan of shiny nylon. I actually like tinsel, but most people have been removing this tinsel so far from what I've seen. I like it a lot, but if I do a restyle of her, I'll probably remove the tinsel just to play around with it. Her hair feels exactly like Daphne's, which is interesting. I don't think it's the same color, but um, it's definitely the same type of fiber. And, oh, and her hair is styled in three bantu knots, so she actually has two big part lines on her head. And they've even kind of rooted the part line back here too, which is pretty cool. So you can see very, very full root and the bantu knots are well done. Very, very cute. And again, I'm sorry if those aren't specifically bantu knots. They might just be puns. I have no idea. Um, I really like the way they're done though. They're like stacked. It's really pretty. And then that's what the rest of the hair on her head looks like. So she has a lot of it just from the packaging. These dolls are packaged like this. You know, the hair is off to the sides, so you tend to have gapping in the back. But once it's all washed and brushed out, that will not be an issue anymore. Oh, and um, very little gel, if any. There's some up top, but like very little throughout the rest of the hair. So she's kind of like immediately ready to play with, which is pretty cool. Oh, I wanted to look at the makeup again. So look how cool this is. So it's kind of got a similar thing to what Monique has with that white line going towards the nose, which is pretty cool, and the black um, accentuated, I think that's like a cat eye, um, but hers has a lot more colors going on, and I love that they both have a lot of glitter in their makeup looks, too. They're so pretty, so, so pretty, and um, it seems like people didn't like her eyebrows. I assume it's because they're brown. I actually really like them. I like the way they stand out on her face, and they really help her brown eyes pop. Very, very pretty, and I like these little white lines, too. She's just perfect. Oh, and the blushing, the intense blushing. That's what's, like, the shadow high designers get it. If you're going to do unnatural skin tones, you still got to like blush and contour normally. And I think this looks really good. Really, really cute. And then we can take a look at her outfit. So she's wearing this big jacket. So we're going to look at the jacket first. It's like an astronaut's coat thing. And then I'll take it off so that we can take a look at the under outfit. So um, this is so cool and so exciting with Novi's or <laughs> With Shadow High Series 2, they are acknowledging the existence of Novi Stars. MGA likes to do this to, like, I don't know. It seems like they're, like, teasing or gauging public interest. They did it right before the Lala Loopsie reboot, too, with Candylicious from LOL OMG. Um, and they also had cameos from, like, Num Nums in there. Like, MGA will do that. So this doesn't necessarily mean they're actually going to do anything, but it's a really cool sign. And regardless of if they're actually planning anything, I really appreciate that they're giving us a nod to Novi Stars. That is so cool. Novi Stars was an alien fashion doll line from back, like, 10 years ago. So anyway, and then she has this little NASA piece that just says shadow. This one says shadow. This one says eclipse, but it's upside down. I'm wondering if that's intentional or if it's just mine. And then we've got this little keychain thing, or like maybe it's supposed to be a zipper pull. And then always with the, the ribbons that just hang off. That must be a reference to some specific designer. I have no idea. And then over here, it says shadow. This is like how you would, oh my God, they work. Oh, I think these work. Oh no, they don't. Looks like they might, but I don't think they work. But anyway, these are like little bungees that it's how you would tighten the jacket. And there's one here too. Oh no, they work. Oh my God. Working drawstrings. Working little bungees to tighten the jacket and make it have a different look. God, that's so cool. And then over here, another, oh, that's not NASA. I'm sorry. That's a different space program. My bad. That's NASA. This is the NASA logo. Shadow. And then Sassy 22, maybe for 2022. Not sure. This is very cute here. And then this one says Commander with this little cat. This is the little cat that we saw with... Where, did it debut with Neon Shadow and now? There was like this little cat character that seems to be some kind of like Shadow High cartoon mascot. I like him. And then it, she's got green painted nails. No rings again. I feel like she's a ring girl. I don't know. I would have liked to see rings on her. And then we're going to take a look at the shoes. And then I will take the jacket off and we'll look at the rest of the outfit. Also, the jacket is like ridiculously high quality it is like stuffed really nicely it's completely lined it's so so nice oh and i love that the zipper tracks um feel like real zipper tracks they don't actually work oh and of course a little fake zipper pull i just love that they do stuff like that and like the hollow lines on here like this looks so so cool so cool and then if we move down we can take a look at the shoes which i got this spoiled for me otherwise i would have been like crying when i opened this um 
She has shoelaces with little plugs on them. Look at this. Who came up with this? Oh my God. Look at this. It's so delicate and so cute. So well done. So, so cool. I love it. And then let's see the heels. I've actually haven't seen what is going on there. I have no idea what they're supposed to be. They're little wedges, but they've got like holes in them. They're pretty cool. And they're, they're like a small wedge, as you can see. They're like, they seem too small for the foot almost. I know that's a style. I just don't know what it's specifically referencing. And then here it says shadow. There's something there too, but I can't read it or see what it says. Oh, it's the R. Well, I couldn't read it in real life, but now I can read it on camera. Um, just says shadow in a fun font. And she has little socks on. Love the little socks. Little holographic. Wow. Okay. I just love the little, <laughs> the little plug tie things. It's so cute. All right, let me change her outfit. I'll be right back. Really love her brown eyes. She's got cool brown eyes, guys. We won. We finally won. Everyone else has purple eyes, but she has cool brown, so I'm very happy. Um, okay. She has a Nofi Stars graphic tee on, which is so cute. It's just a simple cropped t-shirt, but it has a little Novi Stars logo on it. I love this so much. Well, it's not a logo. It's like, that's the Novi Stars logo, and it's got Mimi Mirai's on there. Are you kidding me? Like, so cool. So, so cool. And then she has this really nice pleather skirt. It is lined. It's not just a... Or is it? It feels like it's lined, but I guess it's not. So... The way these work is that this is some kind of substance that's applied on top of this material. So over time, this can peel. So that's something to be careful with. I don't know if the modern ones still peel or not, but something to keep in mind. Um, and she has all these cool little plastic. Look at this. How is this done? These are plastic that are glued on top. And they've got like painted hardware on them. Wow. It looks really good. And I love the look of this skirt, by the way. Look at the little oil slick effects it has so so pretty and it's got two slits really really cool love it love it love it um and then this is kind of a very simple outfit underneath but it's because the jacket is so ridiculous and cool look at this piece it's so cool sorry i think i forgot to show you the little back thing but just the shadow so amazing so do these work or not i'm like i think these ones on the back oh they do that just pulled on the other one yeah they do they work to a degree these ones work a lot better so cool i can't believe those work oh and there's a really cute little shadow high tag inside because um i think this counts as a plush somehow so they have to do that amazing amazing all right so now we're going to be taking a look at all of her accessories before we take a look and move on to daya so the novi stars cameos have not ended so this is her laptop i love that we're getting another laptop i hope that these continue to come with characters so she's got two stickers one of them matches the one on her jacket are they actually stickers I think they're actually stickers. I think you can take those off. And then this one's a little... It is one sticker, but it's meant to look like two. And then that's the same little Shadow High guy, says Commander, on it. And then if you open it up, you can see that she is actually in a paint program drawing Mimi Mirai's from Novi Stars, um, which is pretty cool. And I think this is new artwork of Mimi, too. No, it's not. It's the same artwork that's on her shirt. I think this is the original um, icon artwork. I'm sorry, but like... <laughs> That is so cool. So are we implying she's created Novi Stars? Like this is her brand? Or are we implying that she's doing fan art? Either way, this is so, so cool. I think she's in Paint Tool Sci, but don't, don't quote me on that. Um, and then we have, she's got the NASA logo. It's a sassy here. This little, I, th I think it's a water bottle. Or I think you're supposed to put tea in it and then have a little cup you can drink too. <gasps> it comes off. No way. No way. No way. Does it come off? It's, it rotates. Ooh, okay. I can't get it off, but it, it's a separate piece. If that comes off, that's going to be crazy. Come on. Hmm. I don't know if this comes off. Let me know if that comes off fully. It's suspicious to me that it, it spins. That makes me think it comes off. But I'm not getting it off right now. Pretty cool, though. And then her phone has that Mimi Mirai's artwork on it. On her, like, home screen. That's her background, basically. And then put it on here. Phone case has a bunch of moons and stars and SH. Oh my god. And then comb, that really pretty blue mint color. And then she has mint hangers. Love the inclusion of hangers, the return. It's, it's basically just making up for lost time, I think, because they don't really have second outfits. Although, like, you know, I'd like to be able to put the jacket on a hanger if I take it off of her. 
and I can. All right, so now we're gonna be taking a look at Diet. And first, let's get to know her a little bit while we're down here. Let's take a look at her accessories. So she comes with a comb, hanger, hanger. Those are the standards now. Um, comb, hangers, and stand. They are back from the original wave of Rainbow High, which I very much appreciate. She also comes with a little cup. Look at this little cup. It's really, really nice. Then she has a makeup palette. Little mirror sticker. And then she has three makeup brushes. She's got this big one, this little one, and then this like slightly bigger one. And they have they they have that like unicorn horn-esque texture. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's meant to look like fun crystals. I have no idea. Alright. Oh, let's take a look at the sunglasses as well. So unfortunately the sunglasses are not glasses. Ooh, little Pegasus. I know that's a reference to a brand, but I'm not gonna get it. Um, and then we've got a quilted SH um, emblem all over. I love that it goes from pink to purple and it has this really cool fade to it. It's very pretty. And yeah, these are really nice. I'm confused how they did it though, because look, this is like the same. So is the, are the sunglasses all this material and they've painted the other parts? It's really cool. And it is semi-transparent, but like you can't see the doll's eyes through there. Not really. I mean, you kind of can, especially if you do a harsh light, but anyway. Let's take a look at Daya now. I'm so excited. Well, Daya is really exciting. One, because similar to Monique, she has a fantasy skin tone that's not the lightest possible shade um, that you see in most brands, which is pretty cool. But also, this is one of our first Rainbow High characters or Shadow High characters that has short hair. I believe she is the first Shadow High character with short hair, unless I'm blanking on something. Um, so that's pretty cool. And um, her hair is harshly gelled. So if you're not liking the look of it, it's probably because it's so densely gelled. I cannot wait to wash this out and see how fluffy and nice her hair really looks. Um, I do think though that it is, oh, we've got some shedding. That's normal. Don't worry about that. Um, I do think that it is shiny nylon though. Oh, look, they missed cutting that uh, tinsel there. It is shiny nylon as well as tinsel. So it's not going to act the same as like most of the other rainbow high dolls who have kiwi nylon hair, just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious about how this is going to look. It is very harshly gelled because it's supposed to be like a little bob. It's supposed to have these really like blunt cut bangs. I'm really interested in how she's gonna look and that's gonna be its own video, so don't worry about that. And her hair, I was not expecting this, but look, it has this like unicorn iridescent color scheme. It's got that mint green. It's got a really, really light blue, a really, really light purple. Possibly some pink in there. I can't tell. I think that what I'm seeing is pink is actually the tinsel. It's really cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. And then she has, I mean, they all have like a different eye color other than Zoe has brown, but they all have purple, but it's all different purples, which is a testament to just how many purple colors <laughs> Rainbow and Shadow High have, which is kind of funny because there's like three total browns and that's the most common eye color in the world. Uh, <laughs> we're just loving the purples. And, I mean, it is a fantasy. As Now that there's fantasy skin tones and maybe they'll start introducing more fantasy eye colors, it kind of makes sense to me, although I would prefer anything but purple in the eye color department. Um, but I really like this particular one. It's very, like, muted. I think it's very pretty. And her eye makeup look is very different from a lot of the others, and I do think she has an all-new face sculpt. Her nose is very different than the others. I think it's really, really beautiful. Look at her face. She has, like, a little bit of white here. I, I don't think that's supposed to be her teeth. I think that's supposed to be, like, a highlight on the lips, but I'm not sure. It's just the way that mine is painted makes me think that. And then let's take a look at her eyebrows. Ooh, okay pretty. So she has black eyebrows that fade into the middle. Really, really nice. And her eye makeup is also really, really beautiful. I, It's just very, like, similar to Glitch, kind of. It's very simple, by Shadow High standards, I should say. But I love the inner corner highlight that they've done, and she has a pretty subtle blushing compared to the others. Her face is, like, really, really striking. I really like her. Um, and again, I can't wait to get the hair, like, off of her face, moved to the side so we can take a um, better look at her face and how her hair is meant to look. And her earrings are also brand new. Check these out. Really like these. Most Shadow High and Rainbow High earrings just, like, fall out really easily and stuff, and they're huge. So I like that these are super simple. I don't mind large earrings on dolls at all, but, you know, I like some variety, and here's some variety. And then this doll, probably her and Carla have the most interesting outfits going on in terms of mix and match potential, because she has shorts a shirt, a jacket that's like a big, nice puffy jacket, and this bodysuit thing. It's 
really cool. So first we're going to be taking a look at the jacket similar to Zoe and then we will remove it and take a look at the like these pieces and then we'll remove those and take a look at the bodysuit. I think it's a bodysuit. We'll see. Um, first of all, no rings. So that means there's absolutely no rings in Shadow High Series 2. Very curious about that, but take a look at her manicure. Glittery paint. Super, super cute. It's even like a rough texture. I really like that. Um, so her jacket is um, that quilted SH pattern that you see kind of across the board with Rainbow and Shadow High. Um, it is, be careful when you're taking it off because it does have these little ties that you're going to have to cut. Um, it's just, it's so bulky. I love it. And then she has a hood. It is not going to be fitting over her head, but it looks cute and that's what matters. And yeah, this one's overall fairly simple, but it's like deceptively simple, right? Because the construction on this piece is really, really nice. And then there's even these real working pockets. So you can put her little makeup brushes in there. Look at that. Adorable. Oh, man. I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, man, what if Zoe had come with like a, a little pencil for her drawing that she's doing? That would have been cool. Um, no, she's she's crazy. So she is doing it on the mouse pad on her laptop. That's how she does her artwork. I used to do that when I was younger. Um, yeah, I love that the, this jacket is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's going to be so much fun for doing restyles as well. All right, I'm going to take off the jacket. I'll I forgot right to show you guys the rooting pattern on the hair. I'm sorry about that. So just so you know, it's going to look sparser than it is because of the gel. So bear with that because you see how all the hairs are stuck together. Um, but that's the rooting pattern. It's very typical for a rainbow or shadow high doll. So I, I feel that this is going to be pretty poofy and fun when I actually wash it out. So that's going to be nice. And she's so cute. Anyway, I took the jacket off and I definitely think she should have been packaged with the jacket off of her body in the packaging because it just didn't interact well. Okay. This is driving me crazy. I need to cut this one. It just didn't interact well at all with the like top of the hair and stuff because this is really really cute look at her and her bodysuit as you can see is not long sleeved it's just um mid sleeved i feel like that would be so uncomfortable under this you know when i wear sleeves with sleeves on top it's pretty uncomfortable but like up here i feel like that'd be really uncomfortable but they don't care it's fashion they don't care um bodysuit's really cool but we're not going to be specifically looking at it we're going to be specifically looking at what i i think she has like that's not a shirt. I think it's, yeah. So it's not actually just a shirt. It is a little, it's pretty tight. This is also called a bodysuit, huh? Or like a onesie. I don't know. But it's basically like a leotard. So you could, you could use this as a swimsuit. You could, and by the way, the texture that you're seeing is actually this fabric underneath. It's, it's got that like rough glitter on it. So that's why you see like the polka dots under here, by the way. Um, you can use this as a swimsuit, you can use this as like a leotard for gymnastics, or you can use it as like a little shirt like they're doing. I think people do this because it makes layering easier because then you don't have this constantly popping out. I don't know, but that's pretty cool that they did that. I appreciate it. Um, and she's wearing these really, really cute metallic shorts and they do intentionally have these little pockets sticking out of the bottom, which is pretty cool. All right, y'all, I had to cut away. I thought that those were real working pockets, but they are not, which, because this is so tied to the body, I think that's why, but that's interesting. I was like, why well, wanna go in? Um, but she does have a working belt loop, so if you would like to use one of the other belts that you have, or you can like give her like an arsenal of makeup brushes, you can do that. You can do that. I love this metallic fabric, but I know from this from experience, this fabric, if you um, touch it a lot, it'll lose the shine, it'll just rub off. So be careful. Godspeed. And yeah, so I wish that she had come with some jewelry maybe instead of like the makeup brushes because this particular look I prefer, but I think she needs some jewelry, but I'll just borrow them from some other Rainbow High Dolls and Shadow High Dolls. It's interesting because characters like Monique, look how much jewelry she has. She has like a necklace, she has those gloves, and those really cool earrings, but I guess that's not a whole lot of jewelry, but I just really like the necklace. I wish I had like something like that for her. Um, and then let's move down and take a look at the shoes and you can just see how cute that little bodysuit is on her. And her shoes are so cool because I'm pretty sure these are removable little shoe bags. Look at these. So she's got like combat boots with little tactical pouches on them. I wanted to take the shoe off so that I could show you that the pouch is actually fully removable. So you can put it on other shoes if you want, or you can just have these without them. That is a really, really cool detail. Now I don't mind the jewelry thing because this is basically jewelry. How cool is this? I have been seeing people call this an ankle monitor, which is pretty funny, but it's just a little tactical pouch. It's really cool. And look at the treads on these shoes. These are so cool. And the real laces, they don't tighten it. Oh wait, they do actually tighten it. This is a real tongue on the shoe. Wow. 
That is impressive. Okay, please don't get untied. I don't want to have to retie it. Cool. And then let's slip this back on. I really like the little thing in the back to, I think it's to help her put it on. And I love that these are super simple. I think super simple shoes have a place in a fashion doll line. And I think it's super cool. And you can see this is going to drive me crazy. They're like capri length. Ugh. What is that? Make it a little longer. Ugh. I mean, it does work really well with these shoes. It's the exact length that needs to be and it's not popping up. But like, ooh, if that starts popping up, it's going to drive me crazy. And that means I can't use a lot of other shoes with it. But it works really well for this outfit. And I will give them that. Like, I can even bend the leg and it doesn't really pop up too much. So I do appreciate that. And finally, for those of you who'd be interested in doing restyles, I wanted to show what the bodysuit looks like on its own. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know, this is what it looked like. I did not expect the sleeves and legs to be cropped that way. So, you know, it's not like immediately obvious. Like it really could have just been a shirt and a pants set or something. Um, I'm really impressed with this. This is the one thing that I refuse to sew for the rest of my life. I just don't want to touch sewing bodysuits because it's really difficult. And this is really nicely fitted. And anybody who actually does sewing for dolls, this would be an indispensable piece to be able to take apart and get the pattern of. In fact, someday I might try to do that just because it would be cool to be able to make bodysuits for my Rainbow High dolls. But like, this is an insanely nice piece. It does make the doll um not the best tactile, like it's scratchy a little bit. Um, it's a really cool, really, really cool piece, and it's going to be great for mixing and matching with fashion on different dolls and her, which is pretty cool. I would love to see how this would look on Chanel, I think. I think it would look really cool with her. Um, but yeah, love this. So, so cool. So now I'm going to put her outfit back on so that we can talk about her final thoughts. And with that, that is it for Shadow High Series 2 for now. I have a lot of other video plans with Shadow High Series 2 dolls, so I hope you stick around to check those out. I am extremely impressed with this line. This is the strongest lineup that Rainbow High has produced so far. Rainbow High being like the parent brand to Shadow High, you know. This is the strongest. I am so in love. There were a lot of things that I wasn't sure about, especially losing the second outfits, but I was really excited to see the $25 price point come back because even though maybe a lot of us collectors would prefer to keep like a $35 price point but have two outfits, it wouldn't be as competitive on retail shelves. There's a lot of doll competition right now. This is like the boom of dolls. This is, if you relate this to 10 years ago with how Rainbow High came out in 2020, Monster High came out in 2010, and then if you relate like the way all of the different doll markets boomed and all these really cool doll brands started coming out 2013 was the peak for example i am pretty sure novi stars came out in either 2012 or 2013 and um, there were just so many really exciting doll brands coming out at the time and that's what rainbow high has created lol omg was the catalyst but rainbow high you've seen um really cause all of the change and i am loving it i'm loving it so much as a doll lover from the 2010s, that was when I started collecting. It is so cool to be at a position as an adult now that I can actually participate in a lot of these releases. And I'm I'm just so excited. I love these so much. And this, um, hopefully this isn't the peak. Hopefully it continues to go up for, from here. And I have faith that it will because I just can't believe that at the $25 price point, the dolls are as nice as they are. I'm just completely in awe in disbelief. And I'd love to know who your favorite doll is from Shadow High Series 2 so far, especially if you've seen my reviews or if you have them yourself. Um, it's going to take me a while to pick who my favorite is. I always kind of waffle between a few of them. Um, I think probably the strongest one overall is Carla, which is impressive because I did not think I would think that. It's Carla and Monique, actually, I think. Um, Carla has the most interesting outfit to me. I love it so much. But Monique has the best, like, base doll, and I really love her outfit and all of her little accessories, too. I think she's super cool. I still think that Glitch might be my favorite, but we'll see. We'll see. And I'm going to be doing a, an overview video of my Shadow High Series 2 dolls and my final thoughts on them. Um, once I do my restyles and play with my doubles a little bit and experience them a little more I just don't want to like get them all in one day and then tell you my final thoughts on them because that doesn't make sense right I need to like spend some time with them um but yeah uh between these two I think that I am going to delay any if like big opinions on Daya until I wash out her hair because um she really really needs her hair washed out. I understand that they packaged her with her hair super gelled like this because they didn't want the hair getting absolutely everywhere because you know short hair isn't as heavy so it'll um you know it would get pretty messed up in the packaging I'm sure. So I understand why they did it but man 
it really, really needs to be washed out. I'm really hoping that it is heavier. Um, I am worried though, because I know it is this fiber and this fiber is very light and airy, this um, metallic nylon. And that's why metallic nylon is not my favorite uh, or shiny nylon is the other name for it. It is still kiwi nylon. It is still extremely high quality hair. It's just that it behaves a little bit differently than the other nylon hairs and it's harder to work with in my experience, but, um, <laughs> and it fries really easily too. So I have to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, I think like, the makeup looks on this line are so, so strong. The concepts are so well done and every single doll really pushes to the limit what you think that a $25 price point doll can bring you. And I think that's so, so cool. And we've gotten like staples back, even though the price has gone down, we've gotten staples like the hangers back and also really cool extra little accessories to make up for losing the second outfits, which I really appreciate that they cared because honestly, with the, with the outfit quality and stuff, they could have just said, meh, you guys don't get accessories. You just don't get a second outfit and you better love it. Um, so I don't know. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'd love to know what you think for all this time. Bye.